discuss what's up with fracking, and especially in Colorado. And the question often arises, you know, why do they put these toxic liquids down? And, and why do they poison our ground? And why do we have to frack? Uh, actually, just showing, instead of showing you a fancy video, um, an animation of how fracking is done, I'm actually going to stand on a unit here that is actually fracked. With, to the east here, to the eastern plains in Colorado, that unit is about one and a half miles or so down below the feet. But here, in the front range of the Rocky Mountains, it actually tilts up and we can see it. So let's take a look and see what that would look like when this unit would actually be fractured. Okay. We are here in the outcrop of the Niobrara limestone um, with the shaley members, of course, and you can see that they're all fissile, um, little fractures in it. Now, as you can imagine, these fractures are fairly tiny everywhere here, and um, fluids don't move too well through the stuff. So what they do is they drill a well, and then they're going to pump a liquid, a non-compressible liquid, it can be anything, could be diesel fuel, could be distilled water, um, down there and they try to open these cracks with a lot of pressure and sometimes creating even new cracks. It works something like this, let's see if I can be a fracking fluid here and kind of uh, open some of these things up and you can see, yeah, I can do this, I can open them up. But now what happens when you take the pressure away? Well, the whole thing kind of collapses in on itself again. Well, this is a problem. We want to keep these cracks open so fluids can actually move through. Well, so we need to put an additive in it. Um, something cool that will keep my frack, my cracks open right here. Well, the additive that we can use is usually sand. Now, we mix some sand in there, and as we open these cracks, I'm going to try this again here, as we open these cracks right there, you can see this, we're going to try to stuff some sand in it. Now I have some oversized pebbles here, just to demonstrate, while we stuff these into our open cracks, right? Now when we take the pressure away, let's see if I can do this here, right? It tries to fall down on itself again, but there is a pebble in the way, and so the stuff stays open. Now that's a problem. If you put something like this, pebbly material, or sand in this case, into the fluid, uh, what happens when you mix sand and water? You're right, the sand kind of settles to the bottom. Um, you need to keep the sand afloat somehow. So in goes our first additive to keep that stuff afloat and then it can migrate very nicely in the cracks I just have opened everywhere. You know, here, there, everywhere. Kind of keep these, keep these things open. Now, how easy is it to stuff something rough and, and uh, non-slippery into an open crack? You know, I can try this here. It's not that easy. There's some resistance. So in comes the second additive to make the stuff slippery, something like soap. And now we're moving that stuff into these, into these cracks. Well, that makes total sense, right? Now we have the cracks open, we kind of move that thing in there. Um, as we release the pressure, it all falls down, but I have my little pebbles, or sand grains actually, to keep the whole thing open. When these cracks are much bigger and wider, then, of course, I can move much more fluid through there, and it actually increases quite significantly when I do that. Now, there's something else that happens. Down there, there are actually microorganisms. Mm, if we put fracking fluid down there, that's food. They start growing, and what do they do? They close up our cracks again that we just created. No good. So in comes another additive to keep these microorganisms from taking over and plugging all our cracks we just have created. And now may say, you may ask, you know, why do the oil companies keep it a secret? Why don't they tell us what's in these fluids? They are hiding something. Um, well you may interpret it this way. 
But the deal is, you spend literally millions of dollars to figure out what's the best stuff that keeps these pebbles in suspension, what's the best stuff that keeps makes it slippery, what's the best stuff to keep this bacterial from growing and making these mats and plugging my cracks down here. And you don't want to necessarily have another company come in and sit by um, if you then publicize your findings saying, oh great, we have saved ourselves just ten million dollars in development. Um, you can see where this is going. So it's kept a company or trade secret.